Good morning everybody and uh, welcome to the uh, CQ UK Projects uh, website video. DB4 Mini, the beast. <laughs> it's really not as hard as uh, everybody makes out. It's a, a very, very good system. Um, it's been that way since uh, the firmware upgraded to 1.77 and it used the uh, March 20th 2017 control panel. Uh, so why is it? Why is everybody having so much difficulty uh, with it? Um, there are many ways to connect it. You can connect it through Raspberry Pi, Arduino, or any other of these uh, the beautiful little PC thingies. Uh, but uh, the, the the hardest part is connecting it to a, a Windows system. Uh, I currently run uh, Windows uh, 1703, uh, the Create Edition, the new one from Microsoft uh, Windows 10. Uh, my screen might look different to yours. Um, uh, there are uh, reasons for that. Um, I've been uh, a Windows Insider for uh, many years and uh, I know how to uh, mess with the system and get it to uh, look like I want it to look. So uh, why is it so hard on the, uh, the Windows system? Uh, the Windows system has this uh, really weird and wonderful setup. It's uh, under the drivers section uh, in device manager in the control panel um, everything that you plug into your system although you think that it uninstalls it, it doesn't it, it keeps a, a, a mirror image or a copy of the driver uh, in case you want to move it from one USB port back into another USB port so basically it's holding the device information which is why when you've uh, plugged several things in all of a sudden uh, what used to be set up on COM3 um, now we'll set up on anything less than COM8 uh, and that's the reason for it uh, and I'll show you where it is. If you go to your Windows control panel um, which I have on my desktop uh, for the ease of use of this video um, I'll just change it to what the default setting is it probably looks like that uh, which it's it's a nice way of doing things, I suppose. It looks less cutted. It looks uh, less like uh, <laughs> what it should look like, which is small icons, and you get all those. It's those are the individual uh, system um, settings. Uh, the system setting we're looking for is system and device manager. Okay, if I. Uh, uh, open the device manager on uh, COM ports. Uh, sorry, COM ports. You'll see mine looks very clean. Um, I have uh, a, an ICOM 7100 connected on COM 4 and 5, and the USB serial port on COM 3 is actually the DB4 Mini. Uh, it didn't look it used to look like that. It uh, it had lots of weird and wonderful things in there, and uh, I'll show you how. If you look here, uh, you will see one, two, three, four, five sound devices. If I click on view and show hidden devices, uh, look how many sound devices I have now. And that's basically be because uh, when I've moved, say, the USB camera from one USB port, and I have eight on my machine, uh, from one USB port to the other, it doesn't actually delete uh, the driver from that USB port, so it actually tags it. Uh, it grays it out and makes sure it's disabled, and then your, your new driver, which you can see in the solid black colour there, is then installed on the uh, on the USB port you've moved it to. So, uh, and the same happens here. Uh, in serial, every time you've moved your uh, your your connection to your radio or uh, the DB4 Mini itself or uh, something else that you might have plugged in, uh, it too will put up these grey boxes. And believe it or not, on the COM port side, it will actually give that uh, greyed out device a COM port number, uh, and it can. Uh, it can really mess up setting up a DB4 Mini and uh, anything else that uses a, a USB uh, COM port as a, uh, or a USB device as a COM port. So the first thing you want to do is if you have any of these extra devices greyed out under the COM port settings is to delete them. And the way to delete them 
is simply right clicking it go to uninstall and uninstall it now what you're actually doing is you're not uninstalling the driver you're just uninstalling that particular device from that particular assignment of a compote so uh, uh, and another thing to do before you start doing anything else is take out all the other devices out of your USB sockets so that the only thing that you're going to plug in uh, other than keyboard and mouse is going to be uh, the US uh, the DB4 Mini. Uh, when you plug it in it will probably come up and say uh, Comport 3 yeah? um, because that's where the starts of the Comports are. You do have a Comport 2 but it's not usually used so Comport 1 is always assigned anyway then you have LPT1 and then you have Comport 3 if you've taken out all the grade out parts in there uh, and it still doesn't come up with COM3 what you can do is click on or right click uh, and go to properties okay once you're in properties go to port settings and once you're in port settings go to advanced now there you have all the COM ports that are available to you as you saw before my 7100 is already saying it's in use the grayed out ones that uh, were there but now you've deleted would also say in use uh, the one we're interested in as you can see COM1 is in use COM2 is there but is not used and the COM3 is the one we want the DB4 Mini on yeah so if yours doesn't say COM3 you can actually change it to COM3 so long as it's not in use so I'll do that and then we click OK and then OK Right, so plug your DB4 Mini in and it should come up USB serial port on COM3. So that's the first part. That's where it likes to be. Uh, I've, I've found that uh, if it's the first one in the line of COM ports that aren't going to be changed, it's very happy and it works extremely well and you don't get serial.exe errors. So that's the first thing to do. Next thing to do is obviously uh, download from the web page. Uh, all the uh, latest firmware and drivers and uh, and control panel so we'll do that next and the place to get all that information is from uh, the creators of the DB4 Mini Wireless Holdings LLC uh, to find where all the information is and where the files are just click on downloads uh, don't bother with uh, the interface description uh, it comes up with a 404 message I'm sure they're working on that but you can certainly download the runtime environment for your particular machine if it's an x86 or an x x64 um, machine then uh, uh, you need to download the one for your particular machine so uh, um, I'll give you a, a for instance of where to find that information if you go back to the uh, the system folder and the control panel and it'll say there uh, what the computer is as you can see I'm using a, an i7 and it's a 16 gig and uh, it's a 64 bit operating system and a 64 bit processor yours may say 86 bit operating system 86 bit processor so uh, when you go back to here and you click on the, the redistributable it'll take you to the Microsoft website um, that's the version you want click on the download button and you'll see that it has one for 64-bit systems and it has one for 86-bit systems you click on the one that uh, is for your machine I've already downloaded these um, I'll show you on screen there you go uh, if you go to DB4 Mini I've already downloaded both of them just so you can see that what they both look like when they come down okay once you've uh, done that go to the firmware again click on uh, the download button and uh, it'll download the firmware I'll just show it operating there we go That's, uh, it's a very quick download doesn't take any time at all um, then click on the down uh, on the driver that's uh, very quick as well very small uh, file I'll show you how to install the driver shortly and then finally can download the uh, control center software this is the version March 20th 2017 
click on that again it's a very small file it's only three three meg in size so it should come down quickly put them in a location that uh, you can find them easily forget uh, anything under here for now unless you want to go on and buy the db4 home another solid package from uh, wireless holdings uh, but we'll go back and uh, show you how to install the driver so I've downloaded them all to a folder on my desktop that's the driver I've uh, unpacked it it's a, it's a zip file so I've unpacked it and when you go into it again you get the uh, X32 is uh, is the same as X86 uh, a lot of people get confused about that as well uh, a 32 bit machine a 64 bit machine uh, but Microsoft decided to call it X64 and X86 uh, and that goes back to the model of processor that was a, a 32 bit processor uh, so uh, I've got a 64 bit machine and uh, that's the driver there okay now people say well how do I install this um, it's dead simple right click on that to OEM 11 click on install and uh, away it goes operation completed successfully so the db4 mini driver is now installed another way to do it is if you go back into your device manager go onto your com ports com3 update the driver software browse my computer for files if i browse to my desktop where i saved everything db4 mini uh, X64 and click OK and then click next best driver for your software is already installed okay so that's how to do it both ways just in case you didn't know how to do it from M0 sugar go sugar let's go on to the next bit okay so we've got the uh, the dongle and its driver in a place where we want it we now want to run the software uh, but first we'll install the redistributable file uh, mine's already installed so I'll just tell it to repair it just say yes uh, because it is a trusted uh, a trusted package it comes from Microsoft it's processing it's initializing it'll check whether you've got the file if you haven't it'll install it if you have already got it it'll repair it uh, now repairing people tend to think is is it broken uh, not necessarily it might not have information um, that's up to date so it's just updating the installation uh, so once that's done uh, we can go to the software and we'll run the software so uh, that sets up your db4 mini software next next I agree read them first if you wish not on what many people do so uh, don't worry if you don't read them and then uh, DB4 Mini has been set up successfully. Okay, so we've set up the DB4 Mini and the software. The last thing we need to do is to set up the firmware or to update the DB4 Mini with the firmware. Um, mine's already on 1.77. Um, as you can see, it's found the stick straight away. It's put in me information. It's got the stick configuration and uh, it's gone straight into uh, the reflectors that I have set up so how do we do it for yours well if you've got an older version you'll only see FCS 001 um, maybe FCS 002 you certainly won't see FCS 004 which only kicked in uh, after they did the latest firmware update I believe so how do we update the firmware the firmware is very simple click on the firmware tab Click on Flash Firmware. Are you want, do you want to start the bootloader? Yes, you are. So, once you've started the bootloader, go to where you saved your firmware file and click Open. Now, don't be frightened by this. It's there because they have to put it there. I've never killed a DV4 Mini yet. Uh, they are very robust and uh, usually if it does um, fall over, just reflashing it again will sort the problem out. Uh, if not, uh, get in touch with uh, Wireless Holdings uh, LLC, and they're very helpful. They'll explain to you how to uh, to reset your DB4 Mini. 
Uh, so click OK and what will happen is you'll hear the driver drop and it will drop the DV4 Mini and it's going into programming mode. Uh, don't, don't worry if it says no stick found, it will find it, it's just doing that for the bootloader. And there you go, the firmware is updated, update finish, exit and restart the software. Uh, so close that, close the actual DV4 Mini window, restart your software and if before it did say just FCS 001 or 2 um, you'll now have the full load. Uh, the CQ Wires X room or the CQ UK Wires X room is on uh, FCS 004 room 20 and uh, if you click on calls it will display everything in there of who is in that room pictures it will give you a picture of the last person who spoke if they have a picture on QRZ if they don't it won't but uh, don't worry about it and uh, you'll also get uh, that's a DMR number or a DMR ID number um, and looking at it it's one short so uh, I don't know <laughs> don't know what that's about but yeah, you'll get definitely call signs. Um, anybody using an open spot can come through the FCS reflector system via a DMR radio. The open spot will convert from DMR to C4FM and vice versa. But uh, just uh, a quick video on how to uh, set up your DV4 Mini and update the uh, firmware. Hope it's been interesting. Hope it's been educational. That's what CQUK.com is for. Uh, to pass on the information and, uh, and uh, let everybody enjoy the system. From M0 Sugar Gold Sugar, hope I haven't bored you too much. Enjoy your radio, no matter how you do it. And uh, best 73 from me and my family, to you and yours.